Hello out there, and uh, this episode's being done a little different. Um, see, the thing is, I have a laptop and I leave it open at night, and, well, I did <laughs> until I found out this. My cats ran across my keyboard and muted my mic, and I didn't notice for the last two episodes. So... Yeah, this is being a voiceover for the last two episodes because they're already recorded and, well, I can't go back because it's already been saved. So, uh, this episode is uh, one, the second to last episode. Uh, let's advance the day. We start out with a couple of gym battles. I accidentally go in the Poco Center first when I didn't need to. And actually, I got a couple of new gym trainers. Yes. Yeah, this uh, chick has Luc Lucario. I used to call him Linkario. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because he comes to town and saves the princess. <laughs> I think that's what happens in the movie. Uh, man, I I still hate that they heal so much in this game. Mother-in-law, you shut a ball. Opposing Mincario fainted. That's a double blade. Oh, uh... My ice type Pokemon, I needed a Dawnstone for, which I found out in the last episode where to finally get it because I looked it up and I looked it up and it just said Pokemon Mart. And well, I thought maybe I had to be a certain rank to, for it to unlock because I kept looking at the, you know, the main person that sells stuff. Well, apparently there's a second person that sells stuff. <laughs> and he sells the evolution stones. Pythos. And we're going to use Dark Pulse here. Flinched him. Mother-in-law used Shadow Ball and took him out. Yeah. Sorry about the coughing and stuff. I have allergies, and it's that time of year, you know? Got a lot of drainage going on. And I, I, I went to go edit this to cut out the uh, boring parts, but the thing is, it's right about the 30-minute mark, so there's not much I can cut out. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be very short. <laughs> Yeah, because I was going to edit it and just whoop, keep it down short, but that, you know, and then do the voiceover, but that's, well, again, it's only a few, 30 minutes long on the episode, so not much I can do about that. <laughs> uh, this is the EV trainer. She has nothing but evolutions. Eevee is probably one of my favorite Pokemon. It is such a, you know, it has such potential. It's like a kid, you know? When your kids are little, they ha they can be almost anything they want to be. Oh, yeah, I think this was a, this Eevee was a kind of a pain in the butt, if you couldn't tell there. <laughs> uh kids to the beach for the first time this year a couple days ago. They had a lot of fun and I got burnt off <laughs> burnt up pretty good. I I yeah, I burned very easy in the sun. Uh, I think I've mentioned this, but in case I haven't, I have done the uh Tremors 2 review. However, or not two, but tr Trimmers 3 with uh, my friend. However, I need a video converter because for some reason my my uh, editor doesn't accept that video type that my camera did. 
So I have to convert it, you know, so I can do the editing on it, which my Pokemon card reviews, I just threw them up the, uh, on YouTube. So the issue with that is when I did the review, for some reason, it got spliced into many parts automatically. So I've got to kind of splice them back together. And <laughs> and the uh, kids kind of used uh, my friend's real name. <clears throat> so we got, that has to be edited out. So I've got to get a video converter. I'm trying to find a free one. But if I can't find a free one, I'll have to buy one when I have the money. So more collaborations with my friend is kind of on hold until I get that figured out. Oh, man. By the time you've seen this, you've seen my new Pokemon card review that I just did the uh, c couple days ago. Or, not review, but op card opening. And, oh, that Maridon is so sweet. But from what it looks like, it's, it's not worth that much, which was weird. It's the only one I've actually looked up the value of, but I was just kind of curious. But it has a lot of value to me, so that's what matters. I haven't figured out the... My son thinks it's Korean. I'm not sure. I'm not going to doubt him, though. He's actually pretty smart about things sometimes. If you were notice, you know, if you've watched that video, you'll notice that he's put in a lot of two cents in on things, which a lot of it I knew was true. <laughs> Eat the EV trainer. Uh, I think this was one I actually had fought before, but like I said, I just left everything in because otherwise it'd be an extremely short video. Oh, man. I still have some of my old Pokemon cards from when I originally started uh, collecting. Only the ones that were in deck, though. <laughs> Uh, like I said, eventually I'll do a, a review of my collection. I don't know when yet. But I I don't have some of my rare cards anymore that I used to have. Like, I'm not 100% sure if it was first edition, but it looked first edition. But first edition Japanese Venusaur. Oh, it was awesome. I had almost all the original 151 Pokemon. I don't. I think there was very few I didn't have, though it was cobbled together. First edition, Rocket, Jungle, uh, you know the various types that ca came out, uh, booster packs that came out in the early 2000s. Oh, I pointed. I think I pointed out the, this uh, in the episode when I was uh, originally recording it. The ice type Pokemon I got, if you level it up, it'll turn into that instead of using the Dawnstone on it. Also, in order to make the ghost type, it has to be female for some reason. I don't know why. I don't actually, I don't know if the female can level up into that. I'll have to try that sometime. Yeah, but I think it's clear that this game has some variants of the original Pokemon uh, that they're based off of. Like, this one was, you know, just water electric, but looks like this might be dark. Or is it still electric? I don't know. Oh, oh man, my friend though he uh has zelda tears of the kingdom and oh man it's a fun game <laughs> i haven't played it yet but i've been watching him play oh all the things you could do with it though zelda has as some people may know have has a split timeline and with what i've the research i've done on this game it 
it's either A, its own timeline, so that'd be a fourth timeline, or B, it's at the end of the adult link timeline. And yeah, it's just the. Uh, if you haven't played it, go play it. You know, if you don't know the timeline stuff, you can look up a timeline to understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's it's real fun. I definitely recommend that game. I may eventually do a video of it, so I might play it first. <laughs> well, me and the wife take turns playing games, you know. What we do is, you know, if we're playing a one-player game, we pass it back and forth every so often. Oh, what, what's happening here in the game? Sorry. Uh, I had played this before, and I was like, I had uh, done this before I did my gym battle, my gym battles. <laughs> See, I was... uh. Going through the gym battles, getting them out of the way, because trying to rank up and stuff. And I didn't do this this when I started recording this. I did this first originally, but I didn't do it first this time. And it unlocked something because the reputation went up to the, the level needed. And, yeah. So... The next day after these gym battles, there's something that's going to happen with, I think, Gym Girl. Because I th it will, you'll see that here in a little bit after the gym battle. Uh, as you can tell, this is a new Pokemon we've came across in here. Uh, I don't know if I've showed this one or not in my other gameplay footage. I can't remember. <laughs> I've edit already edited all the other episodes. They just need to be posted on Patreon. And then, you know, uploaded to YouTube, too. But I'm doing Patreon first and then YouTube, as I mentioned. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I feel about that doing it this way, though. I mean, I like the idea of uploading it to Patreon, doing it all at once, then uploading it. But I've been editing them. I did a, all of them first and then edited them. And I think I'm going to try something different with my next one. I think I'm going to try it where I put, play a, you know, play an episode, edit it, and then do the next, and record the next episode. Still doing the thing where I don't upload it until they're all done, but... But uh, it just seems like it, I don't know, it, it didn't, I don't feel like it w was that great doing it this way. Oh, and if you notice, at a certain point, there's no music in the game, which I assume was, again, because the cat's walking on the keyboard. In fact, I think I might have been it, but I'm not 100% sure, because I know in the earlier episodes there was music, and then afterwards there was no music from the game. Ah, uh, Talonflame. A good flying Pokemon. Actually, uh, I think there was a tournament winner that recently that we actually got their Talonflame on the uh, Switch. Was was it just for Scarlet and Violet? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, watched the movie Wish not too long ago. It is a good movie. For all of those out there that have the theory that all Disney movies are connected, this one gives you more of that. In fact, it seems like an origin to a lot of different things. This is, if they're all connected, this is the base origin movie, the base movie for it. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's really good. 
No, I had somebody, a, a friend, another friend I talked to about it, and he didn't seem to agree that it, I thought it was almost pretty much confirmed the connection between all the movies. He doesn't agree, but what, what do you guys think? I, I want to see what you guys think on that. I may eventually do a complete review of the movie, but for now, this is, you know, I'm trying to want to be spoiler free on it. And I just wanted to throw a mention out there. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. Give that movie more love because it is a good movie. Because even though my friend didn't agree with my opinion of it connects the movies, he did agree that it was a really good movie and he's glad he watched it. But if I hadn't <laughs> muddled my, uh, explanation of it he wouldn't have gone to see it uh, gone to watch it so like i said it, it, it's definitely worth watching and he's a very big critic he he likes movies less than i do well i can't say that but he's oh it's hard to explain he's more critical i guess you could say so Oh man, by this point of playing the game though, I was getting a little bored of it. You probably noticed that if, you know, from the beginning of my play, it's like oh, I seemed really interested in it and then after a couple episodes I started getting a little bored with it. But I think that's mostly because of the Pokemon type I chose. As you've been watching through my playthrough, it didn't go over very well with <laughs> having ghost type. Though I've been wondering which, obviously, if I play again, that would be the only way to find out. Did they choose... Is it... I mean, it's, I don't know how much a fan would have put in the effort for this. Did they make it where the type that was strong against yours was the main type you come across in the main story stuff? I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to play it again to find out on that. Or you could play it and find out yourself. Because it is a fun game. It just, I don't know. I didn't, I started having, you know, I started to be bored with it after a while. It's, but again, it's not a typical Pokemon game. And that might have been part of the issue. Because I like the exploration. I mean, I, Pokemon may not be uh, classified as an open world game, but it is kind of an open world game. Even if not officially an open world game. And I like the exploration in games. Uh, it's one of the things that is awesome about, like, World of Warcraft, which I haven't played in years. Me, me and the wife had to get out of that because it was, oof, one, it's addictive. But... Too. We just really didn't have the time with kids and stuff. Uh, a letter for Norm, Dad. It says, meet me in the gym. Tell nobody. Sorry for the abrupt meeting. There is some, something I need to talk to you about. It is of the utmost importance. I wanted to keep prying eyes away. First of all, I need to see just what kind of a gym leader you are. Are you ready? This is actually the old gym leader, and we're about to find out why he left. Yeah, the, 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 you without you'll figure out what what will happen in the next episode just by what he tells us. But see, he left for a reason, and it, I wouldn't have done it if it was me. But you know. We'll get to that when it comes there. Uh, uh, oh, uh, seen the more if you haven't watched it, there's a Moana 2 preview out there, and my daughter is freaking out. Braticus is, uh, well, <laughs> she has basically been watching Moana on repeat. 
Uh, lucky for her, she has her own laptop. It was a hand-me-down that was my wife's. <laughs> And we have Disney Plus, and she's just been up in a room watching it repeatedly. So she's so excited for Moana 2. I mean, Moana's a great movie, and she's always liked it, but re last couple months, she's just been doing nothing but watching Moana and begging to watch Moana on the big TV downstairs. So, definitely going to have to go see Moana in theaters <laughs> when it comes out. Wanted to see Turning Red and some of those other ones in the theater, but we just didn't have the money, or we would have, especially Turning Red, we wanted to support it, because people had controversy with it, because it has a little bit of female body anatomy uh, for, for a 13-year-old. Uh, not that it actually shows anything, it just talks about what happens about that age for a female. Well, a person with the with a female body, I should say. Yeah. We're all, we're supporters of the LGBTQ, so if you don't if you're not a supporter and you don't like me because of it, oh well. I don't want you watching my channel anyways. I don't <laughs> But uh you know but that, you know what I'm saying is of the female body. I don't know how, how the best way to explain that. But you know, uh, in YouTube with its algorithm, you gotta be careful of things you say. But it has a lot of talk of the monthly friend girls get, and it kind of does a really good job representing that, even though it's not about... Even though you watch it, you can forget that that is actually what they're trying to talk about. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go see it. I may eventually do a, a full review on that, but it is a movie worth watching. But, uh... We did go see Harry Potter in theaters recently. A local theater played it, the first one. And it was fun to see it in theaters. That one I never got to see in theaters. Of course, when I, I we never didn't know what Harry Potter was back then. I had never even heard of the book. It was after that that I heard the book. And then after the second movie came out, somewhere right around there, it was my my mom somewhere after the second movie, my mom was like, "Hey, you would you be willing to read the books if I got them for you?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure," because I'd been getting really big on reading the books, reading books at that point, Star Wars books. <laughs> I, I, I'm an extended universe fan. Sorry, Disney, your movies are good, but you're 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 not the extended universe. But. Yeah, that, that was how I got into reading Harry Potter. It's just, I watched the first two movies, and then, you know, I forget exactly when, how long after the second movie, but like I said, my mom asked me if I w would read them if somebody got them for me. And that year for my birthday, I got one, two, and four, I believe it was. Yeah, well, she had actually bought them all for me. But... She gave me one uh, one book out of order, cause I uh, cause I think there was only two. I forget which ones were out, cause seven definitely was out wasn't out, and I don't think six was out yet. I don't think. I can't remember, I can't remember me for sure. I know for sure seven wasn't out. But she she got you know gave me part of them for my birthday that year. Uh, and then she gave me the rest for Christmas. I had to, I, I knew she had done it, so I begged for the book that she didn't give me, that, you know, that I needed. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, me and my mom may have had a strained relationship, but there were times that she was really good, you know. Then that was definitely one of them. She even read the books herself. Uh, yeah. 
And uh, also, my Aragon books, the Inheritance series, originally a trilogy, she had gotten me. And we are now reading to Ratman. And he's loving it. And, uh, and yeah. <laughs> We actually bought the illustrated book, so the uh, guy gave it to him. Was it? Did we give it to him for Christmas? I don't know. Or no, we just bought it. We were going to give it to him for Christmas, but we didn't have the money at the time. Man, was it? We finished this battle yet? <laughs> oh, I'm. Oh, yeah, I. Must have fainted at one point. I, I think yeah, he won at first. I've been so busy talking, I haven't been paying attention to the video, figure out where I was at. <laughs> but. Oh. Uh, in the middle of Murtag. As far as in, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Wife isn't. <laughs> We've been listening to the audiobook. Uh, don't always have time to read these days, unfortunately. I actually got a book I had in the bathroom. <laughs> and I, I'm actually enjoying it. I just don't really have time to read, except on those occasions in the bathroom. But, yeah, I forget what the book's called. I'll, I'll put a, I'll, Type it out in the description when I play it, or when I take a look at it, when I post this. Yeah, I'm hoping to either do a playthrough of Scarlet, or do Alien Isolation next on my videos. Not 100% sure which I'm going to do, but I've got to find something that we have that will help me with that. I've only got three spots in my, uh, three USBs in my computer, my laptop, so. And, and I want to hook up my camera for the Alien Isolation game. Because it can be a little bit of a scary game. I've only watched people play years ago, so I've forgotten most of it. Oh, here we go. You did good, kid. Now there is something I need to tell you. Desperately. Norm Dad, you hear? Oh, wait. Norm Dad, you hear? I saw the lights were on, and I... I... What are you doing here? You better have a good reason or else. I came here to warn Norm Dad. About what? That you are after the position again and want it back? Is that it, Jason? Like we'd have you back after what you... What's this? A letter? Just read it. Fine. If you do everything during your reign, do anything during your reign, there will be consequences, starting with those closest to you go to the police and we'll find out test us if you like you won't like the come on results and, and neither would your sister I'm sorry that I didn't tell you I didn't want to risk them hearing you better be you'd better be sorry the whole city thought you were abandoned them did you even think at all i understand that i was an idiot i just wish i realized it sooner and now i am doing what i can to re okay norm dad the gym is in your hands i have all the reason in the world to believe that the people that sent me this will be after you next. When that happens, do what I was too foolish to do for the city, 
for your gym, trainers, and everyone who calls you friend. Jason, you're not going to leave again, are you? Please, let me tell the town about the letter. Let me clear you. Sandy, I'm sorry, but I ke but you can't. If you if they catch wind of it, they may come. Come after you, and I don't want that to happen. You must put your faith in Norm Dad, right? Or you put your faith in Norm Dad. Well, so am I. I know they'll they'll do the right thing. Or do it right. They have it. They have been so far. You were elevated to gym rank six. All right, and that okay. So it doesn't completely tell you who they are. I of course know who they are. I beaten the game at this point. <laughs> Alright, so we're healing our Pokemon. But yeah, I, I got a... But I was sort of talking about the... I only have three ports on my computer for USB, and I need more. But I have an adapter somewhere, I just gotta find it. So, it might be a little bit before I do my next video. The other games I want to do are a little longer, like I want to do a Final Fantasy VII playthrough, original Final Fantasy VII. I have it on Steam. Uh, I love Final Fantasy VII. Remake is okay. I'm not a big fan of it. I love the graphics. <clears throat> but they've changed a lot, and they didn't even release the whole thing as one game. Okay, here I am checking to see for the Dawnstone. But, yeah, I have lots of games I want to play. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm trying to kill for the last few seconds. But, anyways, I ho hope you have been enjoying this playthrough, because, well, I haven't enjoyed it as much as I would hope. Uh, but until the next episode, have fun out there.